All right. Today on Out of the Blue, we're going to continue this series, Ask a Neo Swedenborgian, of which currently I am the only one. Um, and so I've presented this song, Prettiest Beds of Flowers, by Ralph Stanley, as a sort of Neo Swedenborgian theme song. And the first line is. I know there is, I know there is a land of beautiful flowers. I know there is a land of beautiful flowers. So Ralph Stanley writing this song was writing in the voice of faith. Um, he knows there is a land of beautiful flowers. He's speaking from faith. I am using the same phrase, but I am not speaking from faith because, as I've said, Neo-Swedenborgianism is not a belief. I know for a fact. So, the question is, how do you know? How do I know? Well, what is it I'm actually saying? What I'm saying is, I know because these studies have been repeated for years, 40 years now, I know that there is a consistent phenomena wherein these cardiac arrest patients are resuscitated and they come back with this story of a land of beautiful flowers. I know there is a land of beautiful flowers. So I know there is a land of beautiful flowers. I am not speaking in the voice of faith. I am speaking from scientific knowledge, believe it or not. Now this really disturbs some people. They think I'm delusional when I'm saying that, but what I'm actually saying is I know that these results are consistent. I know that these results are predictable. And it's only 10% of the time. It's not 100% or 90% or most of the time, but it is a consistent number. So I know this number is consistent. Now, that answers that question, but what is really the amazing revelation is that um, these current day near-death experience stories correspond directly with these spiritualist descriptions of the afterlife from the 1800s and the 1890s, okay? I know there is a land of beautiful flowers right here. The upper sphere of the astral world, beautiful flowers. This book was published in 1916. Francesco, who I was reading about and in, in reading from in a previous episode, was written in 1896. So what we have now, and what I'm the one, I'm the guy who noticed this, and this is a, just an extraordinary fact that these modern-day near-death experiences appear to be describing the same world that these old spiritualist books describe. Okay, this is uh, Spirit Intercourse by J. Hewitt McKenzie. The other one is uh, Wanderer in the Spirit Lands by Francesco. Another good one is, uh, um, what is it? Within the Gates by Rebecca Ruder Springer. Um, there's the works of Hugh Benson, which is uh, Life in the World Unseen. And there's a Brazilian one called No Solar. And within this map, in this book, all these places can be, can be located. And it's just uh, surprising. I didn't know I was going to be discover this when I started. And it's extraordinary. And so... November 11th, which is next month, November 11th, 2021, we're having the first annual Super Physical Continent Festival. November 11th is J. Hewitt McKenzie's birthday, and uh, he, in this book, describes super physical continents, meaning that he's in England, and he says, above England, there is a super physical continent, England, and above, likewise, above Chicago, there's a super physical continent, Chicago. So here in Chicago, we're going to have the super physical continent festival on November 11th. We're going to talk about the upper astral plane, which is where these beautiful flowers are, or at least where they begin. They get better as you go up. Thanks. See ya.